Hi, I'm Dr. Lisa. I love being a vet and doing everything that I can to help animals, people, and our environment. At our clinic, we're so privileged to look after wildlife. With wildlife rehabilitation, especially in springtime, we're inundated with little baby birds that come in. This little video clip is of some juvenile wax eyes or silver eyes. They're delightful little guys. These guys are sometimes brought into us when they're this big and they've just been hatched out of their egg and they're so determined to live and they look up at you with their little big gaping saying, please feed me, feed me. And they have this raging appetite. They grow into cute little adults. And unfortunately with the adults, we see them a lot in our clinic because they've been attacked by cats. Cats and wildlife can live together harmoniously. They both have really important roles to play in our society and in our communities. Cats as pets, they do so much for people as therapy pets and so much more. And of course, our wildlife is so important to preserve. When it comes to ensuring that our cats and our wildlife live together harmoniously, there are a few strategies that you can employ. Firstly, ensure that your cat has access to good quality food. If they're fed wholesome food that they really enjoy and that looks after their health and well-being, they may be less inclined to hunt wildlife. Secondly, keep your cat inside at night time. Cats are nocturnal, meaning they're generally more active at night. And if you keep them inside at night time when they're less active and less likely to be able to get out there and hunt wildlife. Thirdly, provide toys and regular playtime for your cat. This will help them to exert energy and expend their energy in a productive direction so that they don't go outside looking for other ways to expend their energy hunting wildlife. Next, for those cats that are prone to hunt and if you can't keep them away from wildlife in your garden, a bell on a collar can be one way to warn wildlife that they're coming. And some cats do well with a bib that can be put around their neck that will stop them from pouncing on unsuspecting prey like birds. A very important point is to never abandon unwanted cats or kittens, especially if they haven't been desexed. These cats end up having to fend for themselves and they end up breeding, creating another generation of cats or kittens. And because no one's there to look after them, they have to find their own food. And this will often be in the form of our wildlife. Finally, if you own a cat and you're not a cat breeder breeding responsibly, many cats are much better off being desexed. So we can all work together to look after our pets, our people and our environment. Thank you for watching this video. Please click like and subscribe. I look forward to sharing more information with you.